we're the first to begin, we're the last to finish. And on the buyer, we pick up broken pieces, we say, there, 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 was a was a was a oh, come have a drink, oh, shut up, it's fine, oh, God, here they come again. And it's, and we see more of the whole process from the guy who sweeps the floor to mm -hmm. the knobs above the salt, you know. Well, you picked up my broken pieces back in 1981 when I, as I was saying, I was, I was with Mr. Hirsch and Mr. Hirsch was doing very interesting things to the inside of my head and you gave me that piece of advice and, and, and I realize, I, put, I hear it in context now yeah. when you talk about theatre as family and yeah. theatre as a, oh, it's, it's something incredible. you work together. It's incredible. I couldn't do, well, I, um, I'm pretty quick and mean, but I couldn't do it, I cannot do it without and again, and I don't know where they come from, again and again these darling people appear who are willing to kind of think I'm not an idiot. Kenny Doublestein's doing it on this, you know. They're trusting and that is incredible. And, and, and in, in that, that way you have to, once those people start trusting you, you better be fucking, better be good, you know. So how, how do you keep the th authority figures or the authority mechanism out of the theater and keep the collaborative part in the theater how do you do that with great difficulty <laughs> yeah. um, uh, I, I'm, 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 I, th I think I'm a willow more than an oak I can bend with what's what's happening but <coughs> I, I and I if I've got perhaps inexperienced people I'm working with I want to go the extra mile by saying, okay, we can do it like this, I can support. Once you've got marvelous people to work with, whether it's painters or, or, or carpenters or, or uh, prop makers or clothes, once you know that they can do certain things, you want to push it a little bit further. And what happens is you get a great deal back. You get back what you put into it, I think. And I'm sad in some ways that the way the world has gone, it's necessary for some designers to have to do it quick, do it in a small space of time, do it and pop in, pop out. Always I'd like to stay with a show from start to finish. It began in Stratford, really, in the, in the uh, late 50s, when Toronto was a long, long way away. <laughs> right. And we were flung together. We, had, we were our own company. And, and that's formed friendships over the years. And... Um, even some of the folks I've had battles with, mm -hmm. they've remained firm friends. 